Hello, everyone. Today's poem is Xiaoya Da Dong, a Xiaoya poem from the Book of Songs. This poem is one of the very few seven paragraphs poems in the Book of Songs. The other one we had is Yu Wu Zheng, the rain drops tiled, which is a very very strong blaming. Poem, and of course this one is a blaming poem as well. And、uh, the co-value for the Zhou people is the harmony and the social order. So they like to do everything in a harmony way or in a very symmetry way. And、uh, when writing the poems,、uh, except the very Primitive three paragraphs poems. All the par the the numbers of paragraphs in a poem is even numbers, four paragraphs, six paragraphs, or eight paragraphs. So when you see the paragraphs in an odd number, there is something very very unusual, and this one is one of them. The title Da Dong means a big East state. In the Zhou Dynasty, there's roughly one thousand states, big and small, and it's also could be categorized by its direction: the East states, the West states, the North states, or the Southern states. And the most important states are the East states and West states. The West states. Basically, are the Zhou people themselves and、uh, the capital located, and the East states are mainly the、uh, states of the previous、uh, dynasty, the Shang Dynasty, and th- these, the West and East states are the most、uh, populated, most、uh, prosperous, and most civilized states、uh, of the time, and of course. Both of them still have a very clear memory of the conquering and conquered, and、uh, thus the general explanation、uh, interpret this poem as a poem by a East、uh, high-ranking officer in a state of the Tan, the Tan state, and he wrote a complaining poem toward the. Uh, West states toward the Zhou people of their ruling, their、uh, merciless ruling. Anyhow, this saying is not recognized today. The general idea is by a unknown officer in a unknown East state, and、uh, he's complaining to the central government, to the people in the West. The Zhou people. Well, I have a new argument that this poem could be written by an officer in the central government, in the capital. Anyhow, he very likely he could be a people from the East State. His family is from the East State and now serve as a、uh, officer in the central government. In the capital, the, there's two reasons for this.、Um, because first thing first, he, the whole poem is not all about the blaming、uh, to the West people, to the Zhou people. It's a blaming to the central government, to the king actually. And the, the second thing is, it has a big portion that describing the stars. The stars, and it shows he has a pretty good knowledge about astronomy, and this were likely he was in charge or he got the position of watching the stars, observing the stars. This is a key position in the central government. It has two key functions. First thing first, to Uh, to decide, to、uh, propose the calendar 
for the next year. The second is to explain to make forecast according the astronomy, according the stars. So this is very very key functions in the central government, and uh, that could be uh, the reason he was. So keen, he was so sensitive to the unfairness of the、uh, East states of East people, because he was originally from the East states, from the East people. And the second thing, his duty, his job is about the stars. So he combined these two、uh, character of himself perfectly in this poem and write、uh, make this a very Unique poem in the Book of Songs. A very possible scenario, make the poet writing this poem is the ceremony in the family temple. So when they they are doing a big ceremony, a sacrifice, an offering to the heaven, to their ancestors in the temple,、uh, the poet has. Lot of feelings has a lot of thoughts, and finally he write down this poem. Okay, let's go to the poem and see. 有梦鬼孙，有求及彼。The food in the bronze vessel are so full. The fork and spoon are very very big and long. So the first sentence actually have a very very strong implica- implication that there is a very very important events going on right now because because of the、uh, bronze vessel 鬼 ah、uh, normally it's a big party between states between the king and high ranking officials or in the family's temple a big. Ceremony, a big offering to the heaven, to the ancestors. That's the only case that the huge bronze vessels was used. The character G normally was explained as a type of small wood, and that、uh, was explained as the material to make that spoon. But this could be. A Uh, another explanation because G is a weapon,、uh, a fog-like weapon. So it could also be used as a, a fog in this event. And with the fog and spoon,、uh, they can serve the meal to the table, to the big table for the heaven,、uh, for their ancestors. So the first sentence basically describes two basic things. The、abundant food, and they are about to serve the food to the heaven, to their ancestors with the spoon and fork. Okay, the second sentence. Let's see which scenario this could be from the following sentence. 周到如底，其直如是。The broad way of the Zhou Dynasty is so flat. Like the、uh, big stones in the family's temple, D is the big flat stones in the family's temple. 其直如是 It's so straight, like an arrow. So so far, there's a little, very little bit implication. About the family's temple, but it actually is talking about in the surface is talking about the Broadway of the Zhou Dynasty. So that's a very very famous term, Zhou Dao, or sometimes was so called as Zhou Hang.、Uh, it's sort of the highway today to link the major cities of the、uh, Zhou major cities, and、uh, it also ensure the Zhou states can. Put their military power to some remote place very quickly. So basically, it's a, a mainly served its military purpose. Okay, the next sentence. Let's see. 君子所礼，小人所事
Uh, so that's the、uh, road that the Lord was stepped on, and that's the road the little people、uh, look up to. So it's still something about the broad way of the Zhou Zhou Dao, but it's more、uh, has some more meaning behind. Let's finish the last sentence in the first paragraph, and then let's review what's the first paragraph about. 劝言固之，山焉出涕。I turn around, look at it, and murmured with something, and finally my tear drops came out silently. So the last sentence actually said nothing,、uh, but just showed us it's a very negative and uh, uh, sad feeling of the poet. Something not good, something wrong. So let's review the first paragraph again. The first sentence is about tell us it, it's either a big dinner or it's either a Uh, ceremony in the family's temple, and in the second and third pair of sentence, it's talking about the broad way of the、uh, Zhou Dynasty.、Uh, anyhow, two things: the character D、uh, has a little bit relationship with the family's temple because that's the、uh, delicate term to refer in the big flat stones in the family's temple. And also the second character shi, in the surface means the arrow, but it's always as used a long words of the、uh, swear words、uh, make agreement.、Uh, so if we treat、uh, interpret or see it as the long words, the way of the Zhou Dynasty is. Very solid and flat, like the stones we are stood on now, and we made our swear, made our words among the laws,、uh, per the way of the Zhou Dynasty, and it's concrete, it's very fair agreement, and、uh, that agreement is the way. The laws obeyed. We we make our way according the agreement, and that's the、uh, way. That's the agreement that the little people、uh, rely on. The the they are look up to. From the first paragraph, the poet was using the metaphor, was using the parallel all the time. And uh, uh, basically, there's nothing、uh, to do with the meaning on the surface. So all he wants to express is on the metaphor, on the paralleled things. So very obviously,、uh, in the first paragraph, it tells us the poet was in the family's temple. He was in a big ceremony. And、uh, it's about making a great big agreement among laws or among states. And、uh, he also point out that's the fundamental、uh, things for the Zhou Dynasty. That's the、uh, cornerstones of the Zhou Dynasty to obey those agreement, to follow those agreements. Uh, anyhow, the last sentence gave us some very bad or negative feelings. The poet went to crying silently. Why? Let's continue. The second paragraph, 小东大东，驻足其空 The small east states, together with the big east states. All the sewing machines、uh, is empty. 
or stopped. Zhu zhu is a component on the sewing machine, and uh, uh, here it refers to the sewing machine that there's no work going on on that sewing machine, or the uh, the products from the sewing machine was totally removed. So that's something very weird because in the uh, ancient China, even to the Qing Dynasty. The Chinese make the clothes by themselves, by every families. The mill patent, they he went to the farming field, and the housewife, not he won't, no, he not uh, only take care of the uh, family uh, stuff, cooking, take care of children. He all he has a very very strong on the busy duty to uh, to make. The clothes by using the sewing machine. So a very standard family will have one sewing machine each, and the clothes made part of them will be taxed by the government, and then they keep the remains and they make their own clothes from the remained、uh, clothes. So that's basically the lifestyle,、uh, to even to the Qing Dynasty, and、uh, from the point we know that there's nothing left on the sewing machine, which means some very very unusual things happened. Either the all the families are very very poor for some reason, or it also could be the government take. All the、uh, cloths they made and left nothing for them.、Uh, either way,、uh, there is a very, very unusual and very bad situation. And here it refers to the East states, no matter it's a big or small states.、Uh, all the families has a very, very bad and poor situation now. 啾啾格局可以绿霜。The summer shoes was weird to step on the ice and frost. 挑挑公子行比周行。The handsome lords they are walking on those、uh, broad ways. Of the Zhou, so here actually is hard to make a very clear explanation. But and anyhow, it also reflects some of the very negative things. The Lord, they should be very well off, and per the code of conduct, they should wear the clothes and the shoes accordingly and. In different seasons, and in this poem, the Lord wear a summer shoes for summer in the winter's time. So it also revealed the poverty in other aspects. Not only the normal people they lead a very poor life, but even the Lord, the son of Lord. Gongzi, they lead a very poor life. They don't have the shoes for the winter. 既往既来，使我心旧。They come back and forth, and they made me feel sick and sorry. 旧 means sick, and 心旧 the heart sick means sorrow or、uh, he feel so bad. So the second paragraph writes some of the real things that no matter it's the normal people, it's or it's the laws in the East states,、uh, they are getting very poor now, and the poet feels so sad and feels so bad toward this、uh, poverty. Okay, the third paragraph: 有猎鬼泉，无尽祸心。The crystal clear spring water don't wet 
the charcoal I just cut from the forest. The charcoal is a very essential material in daily life. Without charcoal, you cannot cook your meal. So that's quite essential. So here, we are not quite sure what the poet was referring, but it's sort of the finger pointing that don't damage my life, don't damage to my、uh, staff. Quite very essential. Okay, the next sentence. 气气勿叹，哀我淡人。I sighed sadly. I cannot go to sleep. I just feel sadly about our poor people. So this continue、uh, the、uh, mood in the second paragraph.、Uh, he's worried. Oh, he feels so sad about the people and the laws in the East states. So very likely here, it still refers to the people, the laws in the East state. Okay, the next sentence. 心是祸心，伤可宰也 The charcoal just collected. They could be still growed in the forest. 哀我淡人，亦可惜也。I feel so sad toward our poor people. They should be able to take a breath now. So it's still about the poor people, the poor East people in the East states, and.、Uh, Here could be a very strong metaphor to compare to parallel the charcoal as the people of the East States or the wells of the East States. The king taxing the East States very heavily, like they cutting the charcoals from the forest, but the people are dying of poor. They cannot continue. Their lives anymore. If you don't give a breath to those poor people,、uh, not like the chuckles. The chuckles、uh, was from the cutting from the trees. They are growing all the time. You can go there, cut the chuckle today, and、uh, some days later the tree grows with new branches, and you can cut them as chuckles again. We gave. The time to let the trees to grow their branches, for as new chuckles, and we should also let our people to take a breath and uh, to uh, make their living. Okay, the fourth paragraph. 东人之子，执劳不来。The son of the East states, there. So busy with their duties, they do not come here. Where is here? The big events, right? We have discussed. It could be a big dinner with kings, with the high-ranking officers, or could be a big ceremony in the family's temple. Very likely, the in the big family's temple for a big ceremony. So they are so busy; they even don't have the time to attend these important uh, uh, events. The family temple is not only about praying to the heaven to the ancestors; it's the place to discuss state affairs, to make policies,、uh, to reach agreements among laws among states. So it's with. Most importance、uh, of the political affairs, and this also reflects that the sons or the people of the East states, they lost their chance、mm, to involve to be involved in the political affairs. Okay, let's continue. 西人之子，参参衣服。The sons of the West people, the Zhou people, actually. They wear very b 
built for bright clothes. So、uh, they are on site. They are in the finest temples. So you can see they are、uh, very、uh, closely linked or clo closely involved in the state affairs, in the political issues. 周人之子，雄皮是裘。The son of the Zhou people, their fur coat, their leather coat is made of bear. 斯人之子，百僚是士。The non-Zhou people, the son of non-Zhou people, they are trying their best to do the Their duties of all the junior positions, 百僚 refers to all 100 positions, junior positions. It's a general term to call the junior positions. So here, actually,、uh, we are not quite sure about the explanation about 私人私人 today means private, but、uh, in this poem, it could have two. Possible explanations. One is a big lord family was consists of many small sub families, and some families don't share the same family names with the lord. So these families were so called as 私人 Ah,、uh, the people in these sub families they are called as 私人 and、uh, to distinguish. Uh, that they don't share the same family names with the Lord. Another explanation is by the analysis of this poem. The Zhou people they are writing in symmetry. So the previous sentence is talking about something about Zhou people. So they have the、uh, same family name、uh, of the、uh, royal family, and、uh, thus the Siren very likely means those people, those families. They are not have、uh, share the same family name with the royal family. They are not the Zhou people. Okay, let's review the fourth paragraph. Firstly, it compares the sons of the East people and West people. So, no matter the East people, the West people,、uh, they could be the people of the Zhou people or the they are or not Zhou people. And so、uh, this difference is between the place, and、uh, the west is the capital area. Of course, they share some of the very special、uh, policies. They have some of the very special favorite, and、uh, so here tell us very clearly that the people that living in the capital area they enjoy. A very special interest. They live a much better life、uh, than other people. They share much more political、uh, rights than other people. And uh, the secondly, it compares the Zhou people、uh, with the non-Zhou people. The difference is by blood. The Zhou people is wealthy. They don't. Do much work, and the non-Zhou people they work so hard, and they always trying all kinds of work, hardly. The character Qiu means fur coat. It could be a long word of Qiu asking, so it could be explained as the Zhou people was always asking for the fur coat. For wealth, and、uh, another character Shi means trying out, try hard, and it could also be a long word of Shi、uh, to serve, to do something. So this sentence could also be in,、uh, explained as the Nanzhou Nanzhou people. They are trying their best to do all kinds of duties, or It could also be explained as they are serving all kinds of duties all the time. So you can see that this poet、uh, is 
so good to use the metaphor or to use double referring、uh, sort of the techniques. And in the later three paragraphs, he uses technique to the utmost level. Okay, the fifth paragraph. 或以其久，不以其将。Sometimes they use the clear one rather the draft one. So the clear one、uh, is so called as 清酒 is crystal clear, transparent wine,、uh, very good with very good quality. 将 is draft one,、uh, which is not transparent with lot of the Green particles still in the wine, and、uh, it's so it was so called as 浊酒清酒浊酒 So it's 酒 and 江 in the Zhou Dynasty time. So it's this sentence very likely is telling some of the、uh, very important process in the family's temples. The wine is a very、uh, key offering for the heaven for the ancestors, and.、Uh, Very likely, they should use both of the wine, the clear one and、uh, the draft one,、uh, to as an offering. And here it point out they just use the clear one, but they don't use the、uh, draft one.、Uh, very likely, it also has the metaphor that、uh, you just、uh, take on the elite group of people. But you forgot all the vast majorities,、uh, because the clear one basically is from the draft one after filtering and refinement, and、uh, so it could be have many metaphors or maybe just a finger pointing. You don't obey the code of conduct, and、uh, you break the law. The next sentence: 涓涓佩碎，不以其长。You wear the jade with you hanging down, but you don't、uh, dress up as long as enough.、Mm. So sui is jade, or someone、uh, said it could be the wrist belt, and the end of the wrist belt was hanging down,、uh, roughly to the height of the knee. And、uh, actually, here could be a finger pointing that. This guy don't dress up properly, so he doesn't follow the code of conduct. And、uh, another more possibility is a double referring because the character Chang,、uh, it means longer. It also means strength, point, merit of someone. So the Chi Chinese when they when they praise someone is much better, outstanding. It we describe as. Chang, and here it's the metaphor or the double referring is he, you use someone because the jade is the noble person. Just remember whenever you saw something jade in the book of songs, very likely ninety percent refers the the nobles or the sum of the characters of the nobles, and here it says. You have the nobles、uh, assigned for some of the duties, tasks, but you don't、uh, assign the people, assign the person per their strength point, per their uh, merit. Uh, you just assign them maybe by your own personal favor,、uh, by your relationship with that someone. So it's all finger pointing. Okay, the next. Sentence: 为天有汉，兼以有光。The sky above, there is a Milky Way. If you look carefully, it shines somewhat. So Han, most time refers to the river of Han, Han River, and、uh, but here it points out very clearly. On the sky above, there is Han River. So in this case, it always refers to the Milky Way. And、uh, in Chinese, we have several terms: Yin He, the Silver River, or Yun Han, the Cloud Han.、Uh, so 
if it's we call it short, Han, Wei Tian Yu Han. The Milky Way is on, uh, on the in the on the heaven above, and、uh, if you watch very carefully, it shines. And here is a very indirect, uh, finger pointing, or because the heaven is always refers to the king or associated with the king. He's the son of heaven, right? <coughs> and the heaven has some light, but it's not so bright. You should look very, very clear, uh, carefully. Jian means watch very carefully, monitor inspection. So、uh, you should look very carefully. It, it, of course, it has some of the light shining, but it doesn't shines. As bright as it should be, the not bright always means the political is very bad and poor. 起笔之女，终日栖香。On my toes, I watched to the Vega star all day long, from the early morning till the night. It moved seven shift. So in the ancient China, a whole day, twenty-four hours, was treated as twelve shift, and、uh, this describes the Vega star moved seven shift across the sky. The Vega star and Alta star will be mentioned very soon in this poem. Has a very touching love story in the ancient China. Anyhow, we don't. Now, when the fairy story started, and but this poem is the very first、uh, literature that mentioned the Vega star and the Alta star together, and、uh, you can check my、uh, video "Tiao Tiao Qian Niu Xing" for the love story and the poem about that love story. Okay, the six. Paragraph: Sui ze qi xiang bu cheng bao zhang. Even though the Vega star moved seven shifts across the sky, it still don't make、uh, the picture, the pattern on the textile. So here it borrowed the、uh, meaning of the name zhi nu. Zhi nu means a girl doing the sewing work.、Uh, here it doesn't、uh, use. The Vega Star meaning. So from the last sentence of the previous paragraph to this sentence, it tells that the sewing girl was busy all day long, but she doesn't make anything. Finally, and also there is another double referring or the third referring because the first referring. It described the Vega star moving across the、uh, sky, and、uh, then he borrowed the uh, name "zhi、uh, nu," which means a girl doing the sewing work, and tell the second referring. The second meaning is the girl was doing was busy all day long, but she doesn't make any pieces of clothes、uh, at the end of day, and the third. Uh, meaning or third referring is the Bao Zhang is also could be explained as the reports、uh, written by the office、uh, officers. So here actually it's very clearly that it、uh, a name calling or it's a finger pointing to those officers who looks like quite busy all day long, but they don't do any. Uh, they don't have any results at the end of day.、Uh, also, this also complies to the very ancient Chinese philosophy that the human world、uh, correspond correspond to the heaven, to the stars. Each stars represents a person, a key position, and uh, uh, the north polaris star represents the king. So also a group of stars represents could be repre represents a 
a division of a government, a department, a, a group of stars could be rep uh, represent a place. So there is a, the the whole two system is one by one uh, correspondent. So here it's very naturally the poet uh, used the star to double referring to the high ranking officers. They are doing nothing. Uh, they don't do anything uh, good to the country. With this concept in mind, the following sentence is quite straightforward. So that elder star, it doesn't serve to pull, to drive the chariot, to drive the car. So the elder star, the Chinese name of elder star, Qian Niu, means the bull to drive the car. Uh, so he, here is a very clear uh, finger pointing. You don't do your duty. You are a bull uh, dedicated to pull the car, but you don't do your work. Uh, here, so it's quite straightforward already. It uh, has nothing to do with the star. Okay, the next sentence. Dong Yu Qiming, Xi Yu Changgeng. In the east, there is Qiming star. In the west, there is Changgeng star. Both stars actually are the same star, the Venus, uh, the most bright star in the early morning and uh, in at the time after the sunset. And it's also ca so called Tai Bai Jinxing, which represents. Uh, fortune and uh, intelligence and th in this poem very very likely it's a double referring to some of the two real figures standing on the east side and uh, standing on the west side in this big ceremony in the family's temple remember the first sentence of this poem so they are about uh, to make their offering in the ancestors time in the family's temples and the next sentence is uh, another very uh, key evidence uh, of this uh, to to confirm it's a ceremony in the family temple okay the next sentence you you so there is someone uh, hold the folk, the long folk, and he's doing the uh, his duty to uh, to load all the offerings on the table for the heaven for the ancestors. So let's see the words first. Tian Bi, of course. In the last three paragraphs, all the names first thing first is a star. B is a star. So on the surface, the poet was looking to the sky and pointing to this star, that star. And every star represents a function in the government or some dedicated person in the government in this ceremony in the family's temple. Uh, like the previous sentence, the Qiming star, the Vega star in the east and in the west. And here, uh, he this star, the B star, actually is referring someone was holding a big folk. B is the folk to load the offering, the meat, the food, the veggies, the, uh, to the big table, which was offered to the heaven, to their ancestors. Zai, shi, uh, zai is to load, shi is to apply the food to the uh, heaven, to their ancestors. So shi uh, is different uh, methods for the food. Normally they heat up the food, let the smells to go up, and thus they think the heaven and their ancestors can smell the uh, food and that's the way the uh, their ancestors in heaven to 
to take the food, and for the wines they will pull the wines down to some of the vessels, onto the ground, and thus、uh, their ancestor also、uh, could enjoy the wines. So Zai Shi very clearly is telling us they are start their ceremony and they are making all the offerings to 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 send their offerings. To the heaven, to their ancestors. In this poem, the B star, very likely, is a double referring as well to a real history figure、uh, who was in charge of this ceremony. He was in charge of、uh, uploading all the offerings、uh, to the heaven, to the ancestors. And in the real history, there is a real family. Uh, named as B, B 公 they are the most prestigious families in the Zhou Dynasty. They last for many generations in the Zhou Dynasty, and、uh, there could be a possibility in this poem.、Uh, actually, he's referring one of the family member, member in that B family. Who knows? Okay, the last paragraph. Still, the we look to the sky, pointing to the stars. 为难有鸡，不可以跛羊。鸡 is the dust pan, and、um, but in ancient China, most most of the time it was used as a tool for the agricultural production. And、uh, you can check this、uh, picture. So it was used to. Uh, pull over the grains with shells. So with that pull over, the shell of the grains、uh, will be removed somewhat. So this is a very、uh, familiar tool for the Zhou people. And here it's referring a, a star on the sky. And、uh, so it's locating in the south sky. So that's the sentence. In the south, there is a star, G star,、uh, but that star could not be used to pull over the grains or pull over some of the other things. Who knows?、Uh, maybe it's a, also a process in this ceremony in the family temple, but in. Today's idea is what's only used for the agriculture,、uh, so there's all possibilities. But that star、uh, is still useless. You can see all the stars is useless.、Uh, sorry, not all the stars are useless. In the previous paragraph, the Qiming star and the Chang'eng star in the east and in the west,、uh, they are just mentioned, but the poet never. Uh, said any bad words toward him. So from here we can see it's very, very, with very, very high possibilities. Every star represents a real history figure in this ceremony, in this、uh, venue. And、uh, if I was a person of the time,、uh, or even I was standing on in the famous temple, I would be very clear.、Uh, Which star re-、uh, re- represents which、uh, person? It's a very, very、uh, obvious、uh, finger pointing and、uh, name calling. Okay, the next sentence: 为北有斗，不可以易九江 So in the northern sky, there is the star of Dou, and It could not be used to、uh, take the、uh, wine. So this star is a very very important star in the Chinese culture. Bei Dou Qi Xing. It's、uh, made of seven stars. It's just like a spoon, and so that was so called as Dou. And、uh, the Dou was used to. Take the wine from the, a bigger vessel and、uh, pour over to the cups. So that's a very important uh, uh, vessel. But in the 
political structure in the heaven, this uh, star, these stars, was treated as the chariot of the king, and uh, the handle of the uh, star. So the shape is like a spoon, right? The handle of the spoon is pointing to four directions in different seasons. In the spring, it pointing the handle pointing to the east, and in the autumn time, the handle pointing to the west. And、uh, so far, the, the, it's a finger pointing、uh, that stars. Those stars are useless, and、uh, they could not be used to pour over the wines. Anyhow, no matter what does the poet say, the focal point is. Those stars is useless, and uh, uh, it's with very very high possibilities. It refers to a very very delicate real figure on site. And、uh, who is this figure? Normally, the these seven stars was always、uh, treated as equal as the. Polaris star, the North Star. So it's the king. So from this poem, you can feel how direct the Zhou people were. And in another poem, in Jianan Shan Zhi Shi, Zheng Yue, it's even name calling the queen's name and said it's the queen who will destroy this country. So that's the、uh, character of Zhou people. Okay, the last two pair of sentences. 为难有机，宰息其舌。In the south sky, there is G star, and it closed its tongue. So, the star don't has tongue, of course. But if you look at the、uh, dust pan, it's a double referring, right? If you look at the dust pan, it has the、uh, tongue. So, but here is the third referring. It referring to the tongue of the human, and、uh, the star, of course, is a referring to a real history figure. He just closed his mouth. He don't say a word to the very bad、uh, political situations. So that's also a very Very bad behavior, of course. Okay, the last sentence. The last sentence is about the seven stars. 北斗七星，为北有斗，西丙之接。So in the north skies, there is the seven stars. 北斗七星 ，and its handle was pointing to the west. So we know it's in the autumn time. The Ceremony in the four seasons. The autumn ceremony is the most grand ceremony、uh, for the Zhou people. And、uh, from these、uh, seven stars pointing to the west, we know it's the most grand ceremony in the autumn time. Jie means reaching to its end.、Uh, so here is has. So many explanations. The handle was almost、uh, wear out, so the, which means the vessel was broken. And、uh, the third referring to the real、uh, figure, the king is Bing. In the Chinese word, it also refers to the power. The so it's. It's a very, very clear indication. I, I mean, from the Chinese language, the very, very clear indication: the power of the king was almost lost totally.、Uh, this poem is a little bit difficult, even for the Chinese, because、uh, every character it has its. First meaning, the surface meaning, the stars, and then the stars are always 
represents something on the ground, the king, a position, a, a department, or a place. So we should look into that second meaning,、uh, th what the star refers, and the third, because this. Poem is describing a real ceremony,、uh, ongoing, and a lot of people was standing in the famous temple, and the process was going on, and all those stars were likely、uh, could be represents a delicate real history figure, and、uh, finally, at last, the poet write to the、uh, seven stars on the north,、uh, which. In the surface, it represents the chariot, the car of the king. And uh, uh, in the Chinese context, it's always referring to the king as well. So the at last, the poet cannot avoid his fury. He just direct name calling to the king that your power、uh, will be.、Uh, Will be end or、uh, your you has lost most of your power. You are powerless now. You should try to figure out to do something to restore your power, and then with your power,、uh, try to manage our country、uh, in a good direction, in the right direction. The fourth difficulty of this poem is the star name normally represent a specific figure. In this family temple, in this ceremony, but sometimes the star name was used to describe something others associate with the name of that star, like Jirni star, the Vega star. It、uh, it use its meaning, the girl who was doing the sewing work, and also the altar star, the Tianyu star,、uh, which is a boy. A, a a bull used、uh, to pull a car, so that adds lot of the、uh, changes and、uh, aspects to this poem. You should be very careful. You should master the whole scenario and then try to pinpoint each of the details and then try to figure out which really the poet was、uh, telling. By each star, by each names. So、uh, that's this poem looks very calm on in the surface, but actually it's with with great fury and uh, energy. Uh, first thing first, we have uh, uh, explored. It's the seven paragraph is very very unique in the poems of the. Uh, Book of Sounds, something really, really strange, abnormal happened, and this also represents the fury, the danger, the situation it is. And then, the at the last sentence, the poet is、uh, blaming the king directly. This is quite unusual as well. Normally, you can.、Uh, Blaming the political affairs, something is not correct. Something is really bad, but they never、uh, goes directly to the kings. The blaming never goes directly to the kings. But this poem, it goes to the、uh, the blame goes to the king directly. This also explained to us why the poet started crying. In the first paragraph, when the ceremony is about to start. Okay, that's for today. Bye bye.